Hello guys, good morning. This is Professor Henderson and today I am coming to you with the part two of the core competency for the nurse educators. So yesterday I was able to cover um, core competency one to five. So today I am going to um, cover uh, six to eight today. If you like these types of video, continue to um, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to thank those who have been subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and your cooperation. So let's dive right into the video. So today's video is about core competency six. So core competency six has to do um, pursuing continuous quality education for nurse educators. So nurse educators recognize that their role is multi-dimensional and that an ongoing commitment to develop and maintain um, competence in the role is, is critical. So as a nursing um, professor or educator, we have to continue to, um, to advance our nursing education uh, to improve ourselves. Educators need to have commitment to um, life, life, lo li lifelong learning and um, to maintain competence in their role as a nurse educator. Also to demonstrate and to engage in continuing um, educational activities and participating in professional development opportunities and um, applying feedback to become more a more effective nurse educator. Also using evidence-based practice to um to support your teaching so that's basically core competency um six so now i would like to talk a little bit about team collaboration and um team collaboration core competency is seven so engage in schol scholarship Nurse educators acknowledge that scholarship is an integral component of the faculty role and that teaching itself is a scholarly activity. So as a nurse educator, um, it's imperative. Scholarship is an, is, is an imperative aspect of educator role. Teaching itself as a nursing faculty, teaching itself is a, um, a scholar, scholarly activity. And, um, you know, we have to continue to, um, to develop and to grow within the um, educational department and also to um, performing different types of projects. Um, designing activities that um, are engaging and that can meet employees and um, students um, learning needs so that's also work as a team with other interdisciplinary teams so that's seven so let's look at um, eight core competency eight which is the last um of the sets of um eight core competency so core competency eight has to do with um to nurse educators are um, knowledgeable about the environment within which they practice and recognize how political um political um political um factors and economical factors that can um also influence their role as a nursing educator so there are so many different factors as a nurse educator that can really um 
influences um, one's role as a nursing educator. So as a nurse educator, it's important that you um, you basically recognize these um, these different factors that um, can really affect your role as a nursing educator. So um, as I said that the final competency for nurse educator involved being knowledgeable about the environment in which education, education takes place and um, recognize any type of barriers outside forces that influence your role as a nursing educator. Um, also to develop and maintain a, 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 a network of collaboration and partnerships with the academic community to, um, to further nursing influence and also inspired an environment which values respect and also collegiability, um, professionalisms and care to foster a development of student and educators. So that's it for core competency eight. Um, again, if you like these types of video, I thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And um, if you like these types of video, please um, consider um, subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your cooperation. If you need um, further, um, insight on the core competency of nurse educator. I have a reference here. You can log on to the National Leg for Nursing Competencies for Nursing Education. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day. I'll catch you in the other video. Thanks.